global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings Today. We do have a trending news for you. And the headline reads, Rogers Okorocha cautions IPOB members, tells them to do this. See details, but before we go into the news proper and further analysis, we do like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Don't also forget to like and share our videos. Okay, let's go straight into the news of the day. The immediate past governor of Imo State, I'm talking about the senator representing all the West, senatorial district, I'm talking about Owele Rogers Okorocha, has also told the Igbos and the IPOB members over the issue of Biafra. He was speaking during an interactive forum when he said this is a time for us to reflect on the effect of coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak in our country, Nigeria. This is not time for us to start making troubles, asking for Biafra restoration. Our country needs peace. We need to work as one which has always been the dream of a good Nigeria, we need to apply our work in synergy. According to him, we are one indivisible country. Nobody can divide this country as God has brought us together to remain one and one we shall remain. One thing I would advise my Igbo youths is to embrace the government of President Muhammad Buhari and the APC party so that there will be life and future for their family and themselves. APC will bring good dividends of democracy to Southeast if only we can embrace the ideology set aside by able and loving President Muhammad Buhari. I I want I want to pick something from what he has said. And that's that's basically the highlights of what he said. I don't want to go into full details of how he went about it, but I just want to give it this is the basic highlight he said. But there's something I want to pick from his statement. Maybe I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm reading too much in between the lines. But I, I, I like, I don't, I usually like seeing hidden messages. I don't get carried away by the whole thing. I try to see in between messages. And I think um, Owelo Rogers Okorocha is trying to give us a message, uh, which the ordinary I may not see. But if you have this, if you can decipher something, you will understand. I'll read that again. The part I want everyone to take note of. He said, one thing I will advise my Igbo youth is to embrace the government of President Muhammad Buhari and APC party so that there will be life and future for their family and themselves. Which means if you do not, you know, this is a case of if it's this, then it should be this. If it's this, it, then it is. If it is this, then it's not this. If it is this, then it is this. Which means invariably what he's saying is if you do not embrace the, the government of the day and you don't embrace the government of president Muhammad buhari and apc party you will not have life and there will not be a future for yourself and your family it's just simple english really one will have we need to be very careful with the kind of words we speak especially people who are in the realm hems of affair are you telling ipob members something they don't know is there, because you are in the corridor of power. So for you to say, embrace them now. There are benefits. You are trying to tell your, your Igbo, Igbo brothers, embrace the government of President Muhammad Buhari and APC now. Because if you embrace them now, the ideology set aside by able and loving president has good dividend, according to you, especially in Southeast, if they will embrace the president of Muhammad Buhari. And if they don't embrace it, by default, by implied meaning of what you have said, my able senator, Roger Sokorocha, it means you're saying that if they don't embrace APC party and the president, Muhammad Buhari, then there will be no life and there's no future for themselves and their family. No one is God. Okay, but, but before we go into the full analysis, I want to hear what Nigerians are saying. Then we'll, we'll, we'll dialogue, we'll brainstorm over this. Because this is somebody... In the corridor of power who knows one or two things about the government of the day which is also the son of the soil what i mean by the son of the soil he is a a, a an evil man 
who is known it's not just something that you say okay it's not known he's a known Igbo man an ex-governor a present serving senator so it's not something that you say he's not an Igbo man he's an Igbo man maybe he has more affiliates with the the Fulanis, but at least his his Igbo ship quote and unquote and his sonship is not in doubt okay but let's feel the pause of nigerians over what he has said he says stop let's stop insulting our leaders let us promote peace in our country please okay so he is saying you are not an evil man but enemy <clears throat> this one here is saying okorausa is at it again oh? who told the Igbos will not have life and future if they don't follow bobo and do you genuinely care for Dibo? have you seen what i have seen the same person and that person is seeing it the way i'm seeing it you be careful something is giving us a, a an encrypted a coded message you know is is a encrypted one as a it's a coded message those who ha, who are wise will see it is except he's trying to tell us that or else or he's being careless with his words if not that's the implied meaning this is saying i bet eat your cola <laughs> eat your cola with your full and new collaborators mm. boo boo do you genuinely care for dindibo Hmm. Okay, so this one is the mumu is back. So he's saying the mumu is back. Okay, so he said the most idiotic man of the year, as you are, Okoroja. They have given him a title of the most idiotic man. This one here is saying which peace since the 60s. This one here is saying after you feed the north and you leave, you leave your evil brothers, we are all watching you as well. Hmm. This one here is saying, my governor, my governor, please, if I should suggest. I like you to think out on how we the Igbo shall liberate from the huge mistake called Nigeria. I guess this one is begging him to help work in synergy. Uh, if you not working with this, if not working in synergy with IPOB, but at least let him get some sort of giving them an idea of how to come out of Nigeria. He calls Nigeria a mistake. <laughs> this one here is saying, God will not forgive you, Rogers. The blood of the innocent youth of Biafra descent will fight your generation. You can't go unpunished. That's a curse from an online user. This one here is a felony to the highest degree. Blasphemy, imbecile. Mm. This one here is a woman who is a woman who is a woman who is a well, I don't know what he's trying to write over there. It wasn't clear. I guess he even put that, that, that so we didn't hear what he said. But, but, but I think he's trying to say it's better he keeps his mouth shut. So you're wicked. You you are wicked. Caution yourself first. Inano, as in Inano, he's saying he's wicked. This person said it's better that he keeps his mouth shut. You that he's that Okorocha is wicked. That he should please caution his wicked. He cautioned himself. Now said. In Anno, I said, Can you hear or can you see or something? So he says, Sir Rogers Okorocha. Okoro White, when you and your family robbed Imo, did you caution yourself? Your son's foundation went to Nasarawa, your place of birth, and distributed coronavirus palliative stuff, part of Imo people, people's stolen world. You want caution? You want caution? Keep that to your gangster family, in laws, and associates. Body, body, sell, sell out. <laughs> As strong. So he said, Okorocha, leave Igbos alone. We are good. We never, we will never hear from the elders, any elders for now. <laughs> this is serious. This one here is saying, this one here is saying, you are the only sensitive person in Igbo tribe because most of them are purely stupid. And that's coming from a northerner, actually, from what I've seen here. This one here is saying, See useless man, political jamble, idiot, ukurausa. You are not so many honest. I don't want to go ahead. The the, the insult is is magna is too much. But in all, I am not saying that we do not need peace. Nigeria is in their need of peace. But the truth is, the level of corruption is enough to even provoke revolution. The level of negligence and partiality in the rule of law against the average common man of nigeria and the elite is so widening and alarming that it can cost an average nigerian poor nigerian to hit the street and ask for their rights fairly recently uh, the people the indigents and the youth of akpanam in fact the whole of akpanam 
practically is empty. Why? Because Fulani herdsmen have chased them out of the community. Beautiful homes, I tell you. The place is so beautiful, but there are no youth, no man, no woman. Beautiful, they've all left because they've kidnapped them one time or the other, raped their women one time or the other, destroyed their family one time or the other. The youths are tired. They've reported back to back to the security agencies. Nothing has been done. And it's not as if no one knows that Fulani herdsmen have been a menace. What has happened? Nothing has happened. These are what we're talking about. It looks as if Nigeria, they, 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 say, they say things fall apart and the center cannot hold. We keep hearing Fillers everywhere. Nigerians are disgruntled. People are angry with the government of the day. The level of corruption is alarming. The electorate does not have a voice. Their powers have been stripped. The powers of the electorate is no longer with the electorate. It's now with the leaders. It is no longer democracy. We wear it as a cloth. APC, PDP, regardless, is just a party name. The set of set of people who are there in that still corrupt. The Nigerian system is a corrupt system. I am not saying that we do not need peace. At this time around, we are fighting a pandemic that has no respect for age, race, ethnicity, tribe, religion. It has no respect for your affluence or your money or your influence or power. Whether you like it or yes, any negligence on any part is going to be a widespread. But the truth be told. These are the things that are happening. I would have said, in this case, rather than saying embrace, that statement is what is catch, catching my fancy. Embrace this government to have future or else what? Or else what? That they, they won't have a future? They will lose their lives? Is there something you're telling them that you don't want the whole world to know? Because already we are reading in between the lines. I would have said, in this case, where we are now, would have been a case of call out the leadership of the IPOB member. You are like the uh, the the you are like the the middleman, the go in between. You you already know you are in the corridor of power. You already you are you are already close to the presidency and the government of the day. And these are your people that are agitating for the realization of a sovereign state called Biafra. That's IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. And you are not ignorant of the agitation. I would have said, let there be some sort of move. Okay, bring the government home. Bring your people home. Let there be some sort of dialogue. What is the challenge? Where do we meet you? What do we need to do? If it's referendum, fine. If they need to be, whatever it is, where everybody is talking from distances, you can't understand the pain of anyone. Bring them close. Let them air their views. Then come to a compromise of some sort. Either you give them Biafra or something, but just sitting there telling them to keep quiet and saying that they should. Okay, after the pandemic, what next? This was still. So, what I just spoke, and it says still saying the same thing everyone is saying. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, I don't, I don't know what um, the Biafrans, the, the Igbo people will say about their son saying that they should keep quiet and they should be very cautious. They should follow the presidency of the day that he has good tidings, he has good things to offer them. And if they don't, so they show that they will have a future for themselves and for their family. But that's how much I can take. What do you think about the statement? That's, that particular statement is what caught my fancy. I don't know what caught your fancy.